here we go again. Manchester United are eyeing a shock swap deal with Barcelona involving Jadon Sancho, according to reports. The Red Devils are open to sending the exiled winger to Spain in order to sweeten a deal for Rafinha. Man United want to sell Sancho in January with him yet to feature since his public fallout with Eric Ten Hag. The England star has not played since claiming the manager treats him like a scapegoat after being left out a matchday squad on September 3rd. And having refusing to apologize to Ten Hag, Sancho is currently banned from first-team training. There was interest in the 23-year-old from Juventus, who have since reportedly pulled out the race. RB Leipzig, Borussia Dortmund and Saudi Arabian clubs remain possible destinations, but speculation from Spanish outlet Sport says that Barcelona could join the battle for him. The Catalan giants want to offload Rafinha with Man United Keen, and they are willing to offer Sancho and Cash in a deal for the ex-lead star. However, the Brazilian currently does not want to leave the no-camp, despite struggling for form this season. Rafinha has scored just two goals in 16 matches this season. Claims also suggest that a Saudi Arabian club could tempt him to the Middle East if a return to the Premier League does not materialize. The 27-year-old has previously been linked with Chelsea and Tottenham. Meanwhile, Rafael Varane could be on his way back to Real Madrid in the January transfer window. The Los Blancos were hit with an injury blow at the weekend when David Alaba was on the receiving end of a horror tackle on Sunday. And according to Fichajes, Madrid could be interested in bringing Varane back to the Spanish capital as a replacement for the injured Swiss international. Varane has been struggling for form and game time under Eric Ten Hag this season, and some reports have suggested he may be available in the winter window. On the other side, Manchester United want away Donny van de Beek looks like he is edging closer to an exit from Old Trafford, and with a move to Eintracht Frankfurt reportedly close, the German outfit's manager has given an update on the deal. He, van de Beek, is not our player yet. I think everyone who knows a little bit about football knows that he is an outstanding footballer. If he signs, we would be looking forward to it, again and again. Sky Germany were criticized for mocking up an image of Jadon Sancho as 007 in a tuxedo alongside his statistics. No goals or assists in seven appearances after he signed for Manchester United. Sancho had failed to hit the ground running following his move from Borussia Dortmund and the German media decided to poke fun at his disappointing start with a James Bond-themed joke. However, if those statistics looked bad, then Anthony's record of no goals and assists in 18 appearances this season looks awful, and he certainly does not have a license to thrill. Anthony endured a difficult first season after signing from Ajax, but he was given the benefit of the doubt after moving to a new environment, and it was hoped he could progress in the new campaign. The 23-year-old has regressed instead, and he's become indefensible for even the most partisan supporters due to his poor performances and failure to contribute in attacking scenarios. United privately conceded they overpaid for Anthony when stumping up $86 million, and that gamble has backfired. They hoped he would become one of the best wingers in the world, but that seems unlikely. Anthony made a stellar first impression with three goals in his first few appearances against Arsenal, Manchester City, and Everton. Although even then, his performances were masked by finding the net. Naturally, scoring a goal decides how a player's performance is judged, and he deserved credit for making a bright goal start. But the goals quickly dried up, and the scrutiny heightened. While Anthony can be a threat when cutting inside on his left foot, it didn't take long for defenders to do their homework, and he's now arguably the most one-dimensional player in the Premier League. Remarkably, the season is about to reach Christmas, and he's yet to record a goal or an assist. The calendar year of 2023 hasn't been kind, and he's contributed just one league goal across the last 12 months. Anthony looks worth a fraction of the fee paid for his signature, and there's already talk of United cutting their losses because, despite a hint of a recent revival, he has failed to build on some encouraging signs. The Brazilian produced his best performance of the season against Galatasaray, and he would have felt aggrieved to be dropped against Newcastle but he's been poor since returning to the starting team. 
United fans have been waiting for Anthony to burst into life and produce consistent displays, but it's still yet to happen. It was the same situation with Sancho, and it never happened for him. Paul Pogba, Anthony, Harry Maguire, Romelu Lukaku and Sancho are the five most expensive signings in United's history, and that highlights the club's horrendous record in the transfer market. United have been the worst buyers in football over the last decade, and with Sir Jim Ratcliffe's arrival imminent, it's hoped Anthony is the last player to grossly underperform after being signed for a multi-million pound fee. Anthony contributed just eight goals and four assists in his final season in the Eredivisie, and considering the standard of the Netherlands' first division, that level of output didn't warrant the fee paid. Speaking in 2019, Ratcliffe famously described the singing of Fred for 50 millions of pounds as dumb money, and it would be interesting to get his thoughts on the 86 matters that was invested into Antony. It's probable Ratcliffe's language would be colorful, and he's unlikely to go on record with that. Again and again. Dwight York has revealed that happiness is the secret ingredient behind Marcus Rashford turning around his blip in form. Rashford has been far from his best this season, with fans and pundits alike critical of his form. However, York has now revealed how Rashford can get back to his best. He told Megadice.com, We've seen people discuss Harry Majeur's improved form, but that will flip upside down again eventually, and people will discuss that once it happens. Maguire went through a sustained period of poor form, and Rashford is now going through the same thing, and he has to flip that around. Marcus can get inspiration from other players who have been in his position, but we can all talk as much as we like. It's the player's responsibility, and the coaches can only take you so far. You need to be in a happy place to achieve your best. You'll never get there if you're unhappy with the coaches, club, or your personal life. The most important thing for players is to enjoy what they're doing every day. If Rashford is not enjoying life at Man United, whether it's listening to Ten Hag and his coaches, then he'll never succeed. Marcus must get back to enjoying what he's doing. He'll be in trouble if that doesn't happen. Meanwhile, Man United could be able to land Robert Lewandowski in January, after Barcelona reportedly opened their entire squad to transfer offers next month. Cash-strapped Barcelona are struggling to secure 35 millions of pounds in investment from German firm Libero Football Finance, which bought 29.5% of its Barca Studios company. Relevo report that while Barcelona have been in touch with potential investors, they will have not excluded sales on the transfer market to raise cash. Reports have suggested Barcelona could sell Lewandowski, and this need to raise money could prompt United into action given their own forward issues this season. On the other side, Dwight York has claimed Man United have gone backwards in part thanks to Eric Ten Hag's signings.